Hi everyone, I'm Volkan Atilmezer. In this video, I will explain the differences between Xeon Crane 2 and new release Xeon Crane 2S. By the way, don't forget to subscribe my channel to support me. If you have any question, you can write to the comment section. First, let's take a look at the structural differences. Then, let's look at the technological differences. Let me explain the most serious subject at first, payload capacity. Crane 2 payload capacity was 3.2 kg. Crane 2S payload capacity is not disclosed just like VBLAS because people got it completely wrong. Payload is a valued value if you can balance it. So the key is used here is balance. All thought Crane 2S payload capacity is not official announced, but I can say that it's around 4-5 kg to the extremely strong motor structure. You can see here that the motor dimensions are larger than Crane 2. The best thing about the motors being so powerful is that we can easily place even larger and heavy cameras on Crane 2S. Combining both the wider gimbal arms and the powerful motors, we are able to balance almost all cameras and almost most cinema series cameras on the market. I think one of the most important innovations is that all three angles can be locked. As you can see now, Crane 2S can look like it's working with a camera on it. In this way, while adjusting the balance, you don't have to try to hold other angles with your hand and you can adjust the balance much more easily and quickly. Also, when you look at the angles during moving, you prevent the gimbal from hitting anywhere. Especially those who wanted to shoot professional vertical videos for TikTok or Instagram had to buy an external accessories called L-bracket to do this on Crane 2. However, there is a special designed part on Crane 2S. In this way, you can turn your horizontal frame into a vertical frame within seconds. Crane 2 screws were all made by tightening by rotation. However, almost all of Crane 2S screws are clamped for a more convenient and faster assembly. However, Crane 2S has a side removable plate mechanism. Crane 2 mechanical ranges like this. Crane 2S mechanical ranges are like this. By the way, you can use POW and Vortex mode on boot models. The usage mode are the same boot models. Let me tell you a new feature about Focus Zoom. Crane 2 and Crane 2S Zoom Focus motor is different. While Crane 2 package includes the Zoom Focus motor, you have to buy this motor later on Crane 2S. If you want, you can use motors for the S series on Crane 2S. You can use the motor on Crane 2 for either Zoom or Focus. Two motors cannot be installed. However, in Crane 2S, you can attach both Zoom and Focus external motors for Crane 2S at the same time. You can control both motors separately with a single valve. While you can zoom in under normal conditions, you can switch to the focus motor by choosing the focus motor from the valve menu without any jitter. Speaking of the valve, Crane 2's focus valve is larger than Crane 2S. To place accessories on Crane 2 body, we had to obtain a screw entry using an external apparatus. However, Crane 2S also found a solution to this problem. There are 1, 1 slash 4 inches screws input on both sides, the right and left. Crane 2 doesn't have any form of image transmission and device control with the video transmission over the ZY Play app. Crane 2S has the same video transmission module as all the S series models. Thus, you can transfer the image from the camera to the phone, object tracking, and manage zoom focus motors on smartphone. Crane 2 remote controller only perform basic functions. Since the S series remote controller works with the image receiver and transmitter, the person using the remote controller boot sees the image on a monitor and manages the gimbal camera functions remotely. Crane 2S screen has been made bigger, so you can see the menu much more comfortable. There was an external power output on Crane 2 body and the micro USB input for updating. Power output has been removed on Crane 2S. Type-C port is used for update. A trigger button is placed on the front of Crane 2S. This made it easy to switch the following mode, reset angle and switch to self mode. Crane 2S handle is made of carbon fiber. In this way, weight was reduced. By the way, let's compare the weight. Crane 2, 1636 grams with batteries, plate and lens support. Crane 2S is 2140 grams with all these accessories. So there is about 500 grams difference between the two gimbals. Although the dimensions are almost the same, Crane 2S is heavier due to the larger motors and more features. The mini tripod of the two gimbals are also different. Crane 2 has aluminium, Crane 2 has as a special designed plastic tripod. This was again done to reduce the weight of Crane 2S. As Crane 2S can compensate larger cameras, Crane 2S plate is longer. 
Again, science screen 2S can use larger cameras and lenses. Lens support has been made longer. If you want to use larger lenses on Crane 2S, there is a camera baking base into package for you. Crane 2 and Crane 2S using the same model battery, but milliamperes are different. Crane 2 is using micro USB, Crane 2S is using Type-C for charging. Crane 2 reads full charge in 2.5 hours, Crane 2S reads full charge in 4 hours. Crane 2 offers 12 to 18 hours for use, while Crane 2S offers 12 hours of use. There were the structural differences. Now let's look at the technological differences. Crane 2 firmware is compatible with Canon, Sony, Nikon and Panasonic. Crane 2S firmware is compatible with Canon, Sony, Panasonic, Fuji, Olympus, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and 6K, Zcam and Sigma. Crane 2 had three types of motor power selection, low, medium and high. Crane 2S has automatic motor power selection, custom motor power selection and prefined low, medium and high motor power selection. Crane 2 has a 6th generation motor algorithm, while Crane 2S has 9th generation motor algorithms, so the Crane 2S has better stable. Finally, you can make many settings from the Crane 2S menu without connecting ZY Play.